Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how I take down my notes. Just a background, technically I graduated Doctor of Optometry in CU in the Philippines. So we're just waiting for our board exam. And the first two years or the pre-optometry are the minor subjects and the third year and up to sixth year are the major subjects or the proper optometry. When I was in the third year below, my professor didn't require us to have a notebook, so my notes are in a filler. So this is a filler looks like. It's a thin paper notebook and that. So on the fourth year and until sixth year, our professor required us to have a notebook so our professor check if our notes are complete because it's a board subjects and it is very helpful for us to have our own notes so my notes are different from one subject to another and on my past video the tips on how to study efficiently I said that I'm a visual learner, so you will see my notes are colorful and my notes are color-coded with the topics and the subtopics. Disclaimer, my notes are not that pretty like the Pinterest notes you see, but I'm happy that my notes are just the way it is because that's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. <laughs> that's the way I study. Don't you worry if your notes doesn't look like this one or the pretty notes out there. What matters most is that your notes help you on how you study and the context itself. You have to take down good notes so that you will recall it easier. I will show you different layouts in this video and how my notes look like. Without further ado, let's see! This is what my notes look like in the class. It's like scribbles and it's so messy. It's not organized. And I always bring scratch paper with me or a yellow paper or intermediate paper to write on. And then after class, if I have time, I will write my notes on a notebook or every Sundays are my writing session like that. Speaking of notebooks, I like to coordinate the designs of it to the subject matter itself. For example, this bicycle notebook is for physiological optics because it is the function of the behavior of the light. And then this capture the good times with the camera is for binocular vision because binocular vision requires both eyes. For the next one is Lepak Time which has a baby picture cut is for pediatric optometry because I associate the baby cat for being a pedia and so on with my other notebooks. For my writing material, I usually use the GTEC.3 but Dong A Fine Tech.3 is much cheaper than the GTEC. For the colored pens, this Uniball Signo pastel colors are the best. It is a bit expensive but it is worth it. Another colored pens that I use is this Pilot Juice 0.5. This is a set and can be bought at the national bookstore. For highlighting my notes, I usually use this pink, orange, and yellow Stabilo Boss highlighter. And specially correction tape for wiping my mistakes. For the first method, if you're familiar with the Cornell method, this is it. But I'm not writing the summary part below, I just write the Q part and the notes part. For the Q part, I allotted 1.5 inches for the column. 
I usually write the main topic with all capital letters and then I skip one line to write the terms and their definitions. I like to have bullet lists so that my notes are simplified and concise and then I always skip a line. After that, if there's a subtopic, I write it and if there's a list, I numbered it 1, 2, 3, and so on. For important notes or additional notes, I usually add the asterisk sign and the note word. With enumerations, I usually arrange the first letter of the word and use mnemonics for it. For the fun part, which is the Q part, I always use sticky notes for this to stand out. I sometimes use colored pens for this part. For the Q part in the procedures, I usually use arrows or numbers. And lastly, for the enumerations, I usually write my mnemonics or the terms itself. So this is an example of the first layout with the skeletal system for the topic. I forgot to tell you, but I always write the date on the upper right corner. With this layout, I usually use light colored pens with the main topic and the middle part are broken. After that, with the black pen, I write it in a cursive form and small letters. I skip a line and write the subtopic. I create a banner for this. And then I add a little color on the banner and then I write the terms and their definitions. And then after that is the diagnostic and the management table form. I also add in this area a little colors to it. An example of this layout is this one is a low vision subject. Next layout is very simple. I usually use light blue colored pen for the main topic and I make it bolder so that I can spot it easily. For the terms with the same subtopic, I use same colored pen and for a different subtopic, I use different colored pens. With this type of layout, I just add different colors based on the topic and the subtopic. This is what I do to categorize them to find it easy. An example of this layout is this one. I usually box the formula with a colored pen to stand out on the notes. subject, the difference of it on the past layout is that for the title, I use black pen and to make it creative, I put some background on the title based on what is it about. For example, in this reference plane, I draw a plane on that. For 
the topic and topic phenomena, I drew phosphines and floaters on the background. For the last layout, this is what I do if my professor gave us time for us to write notes inside the classroom. I'll just copy the PowerPoint, not in a paragraph form, but in a bullet list. And then at the end part, or if I'm reviewing, I'll just highlight the terms that are important. An example of this layout is this one. This video helps you to be motivated to study and to take down good notes. I hope you will be inspired and if you want to grab some of my layouts on how I take down my notes, just go. You can grab it. So I hope you enjoyed in this video. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell below so you will be updated to my new videos. See you on my next vlog. Bye. Spread love, not hate.